In this video we will focus on how to identify over allocated resources in Microsoft Project 2016. We will be identifying over allocated resources by using the indicator column, the team planner view, resource usage view, resource sheet view, the resource graph view, and we will only also be generating the over allocated resource report. Now let's open Microsoft Project 2016. I have prepared a project schedule with five tasks, task A1, task A2, task B1, task B2, and task C, with their dependencies. And I've also, also prepared a resource sheet. Let's go to resources. On view, let's click on resource sheet. I've prepared a resource sheet with four resources, Mike, John, David and Sue with their respective standard rates. Mike has got a standard rate of 100 South African Rand, John 200 South African Rand, David 300 South African Rand and Sue 350 South African Rand. Now let's go back to the Gantt chart, click on Task, Gantt chart and let's add the resources or assign the resources to a task. Let's go to the resource name column, task A1. Let's assign Mike. So Mike is assigned to task A1. If there's no percentage after the name, the resource is assigned 100% of his time. Let's go to task A2. Assign John. Enter. So John is assigned to task A2, let's go to B1, and assign Sue, enter, so Sue is ass assigned to task B1, task B2, let's assign David, enter, and now for task C, we're going to assign two resources, so re let's right click on task C, Assign resources. Now let's assign John 100% and Sue 50%. So we can see John is assigned 100% and Sue 50%. In the indicator column, you can see that task A2 is over allocated, task B1 is over allocated, and task C is over allocated. Now let's go to the team planner view, click on view, team planner view, and in the team planner view you can see John and Sue is over allocated, and on the right hand side we've got the tasks allocated to the resources for John, we've got task C and A2 is allocated, and we can see in this area there's an over allocation that is uh, the week of the 26th of February, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. John is over allocated. And for Sue, she's assigned to task B1 and task C. And you can see there's an over allocation the week of the 12th of February, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and the week of the 19th of February, Monday and Tuesday. Now our next view is our resource usage view. Let's click on resource usage. And in this view we can again see John and Sue is over allocated. We can see Sue is over allocated the 14th, 15th and 16th of February and the 19th and 20th. And she's over allocated with four hours. 8 plus 4 is 12, and only the working hours per day is 8 hours. And for John, John is over allocated on the 26th, 27th, and 28th of February, and the 1st and 2nd of March, and is over allocated with 8 hours. Now, our next view 
is our resource sheet. In the resource sheet, we can see John and Sue is over allocated. And our next view is our resource graph. Let's click on other views, more views, and resource graph. And on the resource graph, we've got the resource name on the left. And on the right, we've got a time scale and the resource allocation percentage. We can see Sue is allocated 150% of her time, therefore a 50% over allocation. David has got 100% allocation, so there's no over allocation. John. You can see there's over allocation of 100% for the week of the 26th of February. And for Mike, there's no over allocation. Now lastly, we can also prepare a overload report. Let's click on report, click on resources and over allocated resources report. We've got John and Sue that's over allocated with their work hours. And on the right hand side, we've got the over allocation graph showing when Sue is over allocated and John when he's over allocated. Thank you for watching this video. And if it was helpful, please like it. You can click on the link below to watch some of my other project management related videos or you can type Peter Rademeyer in YouTube search to find my YouTube channel.